Hello there and welcome back to one more exciting video tutorial. So today I will show you how to create parallax effect. So that is the effect which Apple uses uh, in the background. So whenever we tilt the phone we feel that the background is moving. So you won't be able to test this application on simulator. So you need a physical device to test it. Here I have my uh, I'm recording my phone's screen on QuickTime so I will just show you how it works so I open up the application and here is the logo and I tilt my phone and it feels that background is moving so this is what we are going to create let's get started here I have already created a new project named parallax effect and I will first drag and drop assets so this is the icon which I need and let's select a good wallpaper and this will work good stars so drag and drop uh, you can find wallpaper according to your needs so I'll go to main dot storyboard and drag and drop an image view and I'll put it on top and I'll give constraints it should be minus 50 from top minus 50 from left and minus 50 from right and again minus 50 from bottom and hit enter so uh, on a side note uh, sometimes let's say like you did something wrong and you start giving like constraint you say minus 50 from left minus 50 from right minus 50 from right uh, left right and from mi minus 50 from bottom and give constraints it is working for me but sometimes what happens is uh, even if you give constraints constant with minus 50 it will like show like this so it will be it will show you like this okay so just like select the constraint uh, which is giving you a problem and just change it either way so if it's not working on minus 50 just add 50 and if it's not working on 50 just make it minus 50 it will work so cool and basically you should see blue lines going outside and we need one more image and it will go here so this is my logo first of all let's set a background image and this will be 4 and this should be aspect fill and this should be a watermark and this will be aspect fit and let's give it constraints as well this will be horizontally in container and it should be 50 from top and a fixed width and height of uh, let's do 150 by 150 and hit enter so we are done with this part let's get outlets of both the images so this is my background image and this will be my logo image I'll put it on top logo image okay I am not IMG cool so let's get coding and let's make it work so get rid of this so first I will create a function I will say apply effect and here we need to pass in a view so on view and this will be UI view and we need magnitude as well so the level of effect you want and this will be double and here so we will give effect on both the axes so first is X axis and here I will say let X axis effect is equal to UI interpolation motion effect and open parentheses uh, let me just put it in center get rid of this get rid of this and here I will select this one with key path and type and key path will be center dot X and type will be dot horizontal axis so X axis effect dot minimum effect will be minus magnitude and x axis effect dot maximum relative value will be magnitude so do the same thing for y axis so i will say y axis and let y axis effect equal to ui interpolation motion effect open brackets key path and center dot y and type will be dot tilt along vertical axis and this will be 
y axis effect dot minimum relative value is equal to minus magnitude and y axis effect dot maximum relative value is equal to magnitude and we need to group this effects so let effect group equal to ui motion effect group open close brackets effect group dot we will say motion effects equal to open close square brackets and this will be x axis effect y axis effect and we will just give this group to the view so we will say on view dot add motion effect and here we will just pass in the group so effect group and should work so under view did load we will just say a logo image uh, let's say first background image uh, no sorry so we'll just say apply effect and here we will just pass in background image and magnitude let's take 15 and apply effect and this will be logo image and magnitude will be let's say minus 10 and I will run it on my phone so I will just say so I'm here I will just play bring up bring back my phone so you guys can see the installation part if it's happening okay is it working okay it's working so this is our new effect and so I'm tilting it and it's working good so first of all let's do some changes I'll stop the application and I will say prefer status bar hidden and open brackets and return true so I don't want the status bar and here I will say logo image dot layer dot corner radius is equal to logo image dot frame dot height by two so basically I'm making it round and I will say logo image dot clips to bounce is equal to true as well and we are good to go so let's see it working once again and here is the here is my phone so and now if I tilt it it looks much better so that's how you create parallax effect so thank you for watching if you have any questions post them in comments if you like my video thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for future videos until next time